to do that in 15 or 20 years we can completely redo it if we we have to mobilize this this is how important it is and and how 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 important that we do it quickly we have to mobilize the same way we did when we entered world war 2 in 1941 we have to fully mobilize everything we have and put it into changing the energy system over. And not just here in the United States, but all over the world. It's going to be the business, business, biggest business project in the history of the world. Fortunes, billions of dollars are going to be made. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to be employed. We're going to have clean air. We're going to have so many benefits from it. It's not going to cost us anything it, once we get going with it. It's not going to cost us anything. Only. The people that don't un don't understand it think it's going it, to it, not doing it will be catastrophic. We'll have eight degrees. We'll be eight degrees hotter in ten, not ten, but in thirty or forty years. And basically, none of the crops will grow. Most of the people will have died, and the rest of us will be cannibals. Civilization will have broken down. What the few people that are left will be living in a, in in a failed state like Somalia or Sudan. And, and living conditions will be intolerable. The droughts will be so bad there'll be no more corn growing. It, it will, the, the not doing it is suicide. Just like dropping bombs on each other, nuclear weapons is suicide. So we've got to stop doing the two suicidal things. After that, we've got to we've got to stabilize the population. When I was born, no, there so were what's too, wrong with the population? I mean, with too many people. That's what. That's why we have global warming. We have global warming because too many people are using too much stuff. people they'd be using less but stuff. It, yeah.